Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to 256 Garage. This is Jason with our weekend review. We're going to walk around, show you what's going on, what we got done, what's coming up, all that good stuff for the week. So let's just get started right here in the shop. Got the big van. Michael got it painted. Painted the top and the back door. I'm pretty sure the back door's over on the other side. We'll show you it in a minute. But he had to paint that top area right up there all the way down. And let me tell you, when you go paint something that size right there, that's a job. Up, wouldn't fit the paint booth, had to go up, had to go down. It just, it's rough up and down that ladder. And we'll walk over here to Ford Escape. I don't know if you remember the Ford Escape. Uh, deer ran into them, I guess you call it. <laughs> but it had busted windshield, bent the door, broke the door glass, fender, hood. Done a pretty good little lick on it. But we got it in here tore down i believe the parts are in the booth we'll walk over and look and see here in just a minute the camaro i think we got the final prime on the quarters and the roof uh i think we got the final block or final prime so we'll be ready to block them down one more time and the doors i think the doors deck lid quarters and roof have the final prime ready for blocking and sanding for final paint hood still got to do some blocking on the hood and get primer on it but it's coming along a little cobra too thought we had it kind of worked out but it's got just a slight vibration so we're not sure if they got the wrong flywheel uh maybe transmission when it went out it done something in the drive line or rear end or something so we got it up on the rack getting the transmission back out of it check the flywheel out and everything and go from there I think the flywheel is actually on the other side over here. Yeah, you can't see it good. Right there is a flywheel, and just by looking at it, it looks like this motor has been balanced and all that. So if that's the case, we go changing that flywheel. That's going to be interesting. We'll have to dig into that a little deeper anyway, but right there is the transmission. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's walk outside here and see what we got or walk to the other, to the paint side. Right here is the other Camaro door. Let's see here. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. It's beautiful here. Sun's shining. It's not real hot. Kind of cool. Yeah, right there's the van door. That's the back door for the van there. Got it painted. Be ready to bolt it back on. That's not a door just one person yanks up and bolts on. Takes a couple hands for it. Let's go in the booth here now. Yeah, right there's our escape parts. You can see the door. And there's the hood and the fender. Michael got them jammed yesterday. I believe it was late yesterday evening. They're probably dry, be set out in the sun, but you never want to walk in a booth and just start touching stuff because the paint could be wet. And it might be kind of dry, but if you touch it and leave you little fingerprints, and you won't believe the amount of people I've seen that touch wet paint. Don't even, if you're not even sure about, if you ain't even messing with it, don't touch it. Cause wet paint, it'll leave a fingerprint. Right here's our driven by color mixing system again. That's what we use for the paint for the escape and the van there, mixed it with it. We really, really, really enjoying it right now. Uh, it's doing real good. Our colors are matching real good. So check out automotiveart.com. I believe it's actually automotiveartpaints.com. You get a chance, check them out. They've even got a YouTube page on here. Uh, go give them a like, a follow, and a comment on there that you saw their product here on 256 Garage. That had kind of help us out with them. Be like, hey, these guys are giving us a shout out. Maybe, they'd, maybe they'll turn around and give us a shout out on their channel. Uh, the Mercury over here. The inspector from the state showed up, passed inspection. So she's ready to go now, except for a tail light. We do have to get a tail light. It's got them LED bulbs. And if they blow, you don't just replace the bulb. It's the LED strips. You have to replace the whole tail light. And they're not cheap. So if you if you got a tail light out there, anybody know of anybody that's got one of them, give us a shout out. We might need it, or we do need it. 
All right, our F-250 here. This is the F-250 that was red hitting the side. Y'all been kind of following along on. We've got the black doors bolted on it. I painted the cow Thursday evening so we could get the wiper stuff all in. Windshield guys come in, put in the windshield and the back glass. Yeah, put in the back glass yesterday. And if you remember, these doors are off of 08. And we're wanting to use the door panels, carpet, everything out of the 08 on this 01. So we're going to have to make the wires to them switches fit these switches. And you can see how everything is. It's different. The 08 plugs in right in there and the 01 runs all the way through the door. So we're going to have to take the pin, change some wires around pin because this 08 interior looks a lot better than the 01 interior. We're wanting to use the dash and all. We probably won't put the dash in right away. That'll be a little later down the road. Because right now we're wanting to get it up, running, driving. Get it where the windows are going up and down. Uh, get the front end on it. Since we've got the back glass on, we can put the bed in pretty quick. We'll probably have to drill us a hole for the gooseneck. Because I'm sure that bed don't have it. Uh, we still got to pull the front part off. So we can put the late model headlights in it. And we want to paint all this. We want to get it black. When you open the hood... We want to see black, not, oh, this used to be a red truck. You know what I mean? But anyway, and then the Toyota over here, the RAV4, if you remember it or not, the quarter pound damage. Got it worked in prime. I'm sure Michael will probably paint the, probably paint the escape panels first so they can get them hung and then he'll get this in there in the booth. So probably paint them Monday, paint this Tuesday is what I'm guessing. Then we'll get the Dodge over there in. Uh, I thought about trying to get the old race car and put a little petrol in it today so we could back it around and move it around some, get it out of the grass. And it's just good to crank them and move them every now and then. And if Alan's gonna crank it the other day, but it slapped out of gas. So I may do that today. Uh, like I said, right there is the old parts truck. So we put the red door on it. Old blue Chevrolet up and running. I think we're waiting for a tail light for it, or that goes in the. It ain't a tail. It's a tail light that goes in the where the tailgate handle is, because that is made where the tailgate opens from the inside, and then there's a little light goes right there. So that and putting the front bumper on, and I think it'll be ready to go. And I believe that's about everything. The little Civic is still on the frame machine. We ain't had time to mess with it. Uh, got to get started back on it hopefully pretty soon i think alan's got most parts in for it we got a little key over here that uh insurance job come in on the rollback thursday i'm pretty sure it'll probably be, just by looking at it i'm sure it'll be a total uh fender door wheel some suspension and it got into that post pretty good so and all the way down the side back bumper that will probably be a total but uh other than that, I think that's about everything. Everything we got. A couple out there that we need to work on. The GMC, I believe it got picked up yesterday. Uh, like I said, the Mercury, we'll get a tail light in it. It'll be for sale. Got to do a little buffing on the car sitting beside it. Hopefully, we'll get the little Honda Civic Air pulled and get it in the paint shop, have it ready for sale pretty soon. But it's going to be a beautiful Saturday. I think. Uh, Fort Payne Speedway's got a big race. Get out there and check them out tonight. Third Saturday in Fort Payne, it's going on. So get out, do something. Uh, give us a like, share, sub, subscribe, comment, anything. We appreciate it. Thanks everyone for tuning in. 256 Garage out.